What is up, dudes? What is up? It's your host here, TRSKSS, and welcome back to the channel, guys. And in today's video, people, we are going to be examining some crazy, freaky Easter eggs, guys, on GTA 5. Right now, right here. So, guys, before I begin, if you guys could be ever so nice and support the video with a like, it would really help me out a lot. And also, if you guys are brand new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because I do upload daily GTA 5 content and YouTube news. So guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. Alrighty guys, so as you know, there's lots of hidden stuff on the floors of the ocean inside of Los Santos. Such as right here, we see a health pack, and we see different money crates and stuff, which I'll show you guys a little further on into the video. But what if I told you people, what if I told you that there's actually sunken ships and murdered people in the waters of Los Santos? Yes, guys, you guys heard me correctly. There is all that type of stuff. And today's video, we are going to be looking over it, taking a little peek at some of the stuff, and just trying to figure out what does this mean and things like that. Alrighty, people. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is, of course, right here. And I do want to tell you guys that I actually already have the um, invincibility cheat on. Just so that way I can go ahead and, you know, find out this place without having to die. Because otherwise Michael couldn't, you know, hold his breath under here. So as you guys see right here, it looks like we have a woman figure who has like a sack over her head or something, and I'll try and swim down and get a better view. But as you guys can see, she is just sitting there, and it's like she's almost stuck inside of a block with a, like a bag around her head, and it's super creepy, because if you guys are looking at it, you can see that it almost looks like she's moving with the water. She moves forward, and then as you guys will see, she moves backward a little bit. <clears throat> So this is kind of creepy, and people are wondering, well, what actually is this right here? Well, people, as you saw, I did get a little message that prompted me to save this, because this lady here is actually for a, another Easter egg on story mode, which I'll have another video out later on talking about. But she is a step of the Easter egg right here. And if you guys look at it, it does kind of look like she was abused or something, and then put in that middle block and sent over the water. Alrighty, people, so moving on forward into the next thing right here, we have a sunken boat. Now, this is pretty crazy because, I mean, just look at it. Like, it looks in like an exact tugboat that we saw on GTA Online, and it's just sunken and all ripped up. It looks like they crashed into a reef of some sort right here, and they are all sunken up, and all the fish and stingrays and things are just swimming around it. Now what's interesting is that if you guys go over to right here, you can pick up a shotgun, which is kind of weird, and then as I showed you guys, there's that health pack over there. But then there's also some different things that you guys can swim around here and pick up, such as if you come up here, you will see this little case, and you guys can swim around it and pick up some hidden money, which will help your GTA 5 character out if you guys are struggling a little bit financially. So this is pretty interesting because this means that this boat was part of the story and that it had hidden little things on it that Rockstar decided maybe we shouldn't put this in the story or maybe we should just put it under here and let the players find it out themselves. But it's never really mentioned in the story except for when we do the mission for Abigail Mathers when she's trying to find out where her husband went and we have to swim around the ocean in a submarine to look around for him. So that's kind of interesting because as you guys see in the footage in the background, I'm actually swimming around here, picking up all these guns, and just getting a boost in my arsenal on GTA 5 here. So now what's also interesting is that if you guys swim around over and you guys keep going into different spots, you will go ahead and see that we have like a gun right here, and we have like a barrel and a bunch of other stuff it's kind of like a big wreck happened down here and then they just kind of let the ship sink and this girl over here maybe she was like captured inside of it or something like that so now what's interesting about all this is that there's plenty of other secret locations around on the map on gta 5 such as a ufo 
and a sunken submarine and things like that. So right now, we are going to go ahead and showcase yet another one to you people <clears throat> right over to here. So as you guys, pe as you people are about to see over right here, we are going to go ahead and activate the Skyfall cheat. And then we are going to head over to this location here on the map. Alrighty, people, so as we move on over into the next location of the map, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what you're going to see. Pretty much what you guys are going to see here is a, a sunken submarine that's pretty big. Now, I know that you guys have probably seen the yellow submarine on GTA 5, and you guys have probably drove in it if you guys completed the story mode. But this submarine, nobody has ever seen before, except for if you swim under the water here and get these crates. <clears throat> now, what's even more interesting about this is that it's almost like Rockstar wanted us to purposely find the crates because they thought if we can give the GTA 5 players a little of an incentive to go ahead and look for these crates, then they will want to do so to booster their bank balance. Because, as you guys might have seen, there's hidden little items around all of these submarines and crates of money as well. <clears throat> Alright people, so as we are moving over to here, it is like we have a huge submarine hooked up to some type of oil rig thing right over here. And then we have the actual submarine here itself, which is pretty, pretty big. To be honest, as you guys see, it has like the little hatch up at the top that shows it's actually a submarine. And you guys can swim around down in there and see what there really is, except it's just a black cave of nothingness sitting under here in the water. Now, this could be hinting to the girl's Abigail, her husband's death in the ocean, because that could be very possible that he just ended up dying here in the ocean with this submarine right here. Now as you guys can see we have like a health pack and then up here eventually a little money crate does spawn with like $54,000 right there. So that's pretty crazy. And then if we look on over here around the ship we will see multiple different things such as guns and things like that. Now if we go ahead and swim down we will actually see some hidden like docks and things that caused the boat to break, which could be hinting towards, like I said again, the storyline mission where she has to find her husband, and you guys have to swim throughout the ocean to eventually find him. <clears throat> now guys, let me know what you think, because I think this is pretty interesting, and this pipe right here actually goes for quite some time until it gets, you know, broken and dumped into the ocean leaving to whatever oil was there to just be absolutely destroyed and guys if you look over here you will actually see a hidden tunnel that could have some stuff inside of it that people are kind of interested to see but as you guys could look right here we actually can't get inside of the tunnel meaning there's probably nothing inside of it of importance here Alrighty, people, so moving on into the next thing right here, we are going to be talking about a little pipeline system on GTA 5 you guys probably didn't know about. So if you guys go all the way over to here at this location on the map near the Del Perro Pier, and again, we are going to use the Skyfall cheat to speed things up just a little bit so that way everybody can see this stuff pretty easily, but we are going to go ahead and look over here and see what there is. So as we put back on our invisibility, <clears throat> we will go under the water and figure out what is inside of here. So as we head on down, as you guys know, there is like a peyote plant that you guys can do, but we're not going to be talking about that here. We are going to be talking about this pipe that is actually right below me down here. So as you guys can see right here, this pipe looks exactly like the one with the submarine there that could have transported oil or something like that. Now what's interesting about this is that if you guys pay attention to the story mode, you guys will hear things such as the Los Santos to Canada in-game pipe has begun getting built. And they say it's like an underground sewing pipe, so 
if this is what I think it is, and if this is what the sources say it is, then this pipe right here is actually the start of the Canada pipe, which would eventually wrap all the way around up to here, where that submarine is, and then eventually head out into the sea. So that's pretty interesting here, because nobody really knows what this pipe is. It's just a random pipe, along with a bunch of debris, and a bunch of like ripped up docks and things like that under here in the water, along with the peyote plant, which will be over in here. So guys, as you can see, the last thing I want to talk about is these little jars right here, which are radioactive things. As you guys hear on about in the news in real life and on GTA 5, there is a huge amount of hazardous materials inside of our oceans this like this year and in the past few years, there's just been a lot of hazardous materials into the ocean. And so the people at Rockstar Games figured if we go ahead and have the player look for these radioactive barrels right here, we can give them a little bit of cash and they can clean up the ocean. So now this is interesting as well, because as you guys swim into them, you actually get $23,000, which can help you guys get a little bit of a booster into your bank account. So the next time that you guys are bored on story mode and you don't think there's anything really worth it to do on GTA 5, then you guys can just, you know, swim around the oceans, you guys can play as your favorite animal, and you guys can find some of these hidden little things hidden under the ocean here because it's absolutely crazy how all of this stuff is like just under the ocean for everybody to explore. It's absolutely amazing that Rockstar spent all this time to build the whole ocean and then it gets overlooked every single day by so many players. So guys, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like because I'd really, really appreciate that. And also, if you guys are new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I am going to start uploading more and more daily GTA 5 Easter eggs and things of that matter that you guys will probably want to not miss out on. So subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications if you are brand new so you never miss another video from me. Anyways, guys, this is TRSKSS. I will see you all later on, and peace out.